we identified Cyclo as an asset by doing a deep dive on their financials. We first looked at the company. It was a cyclodextrin trading platform. And uh, what we noted in their financials, a footnote, because they were doing about a million dollars in revenue. And, and a significant portion of that revenue was identified as the sale of Trapsol Cyclo, the company's compound that was being utilized through compassionate use programs for the treatment of Neiman Pick Type C, predominantly in the country of Brazil. In fact, the government of Brazil is the company's and was the company's customer at that time, and still is, by the way. Uh, we went and visited the company, Marcus Seeger and I, Marcus, the CEO of Pole Pharma, and we listened to the company describe how they were looking to build out their platform. And we asked them about the sale of Trapsol Cyclo around the world in, in the United States at that time for the treatment of Neiman Pick Type C, which we, of course, had done our homework on Neiman Pick and had understood what the disease was and the unmet net medical need that was out there for it. And what we quickly heard from the company was, yes, they were selling this product through these compassionate programs, but they did not have any data on it. So Marcus and I made a decision to invest in the company and join the company's board at that time. That was about four and a half years ago. And we, we put a team together led by Dr. Sharon Renko, who is now our chief scientific officer. Sharon is a PhD neuroscientist, spent 20 plus years at the NIH, was deputy director at the Fogarty Center there, uh, in World Health. I met Sharon while she was the president of the Global Virus Network, GVN, and I was the chairman of the board of the GVN. And GVN had been stood up by Dr. Robert Gallo, whom many of you will remember his name as the scientist physician recognized as identifying the HIV virus many years ago. Uh, Sharon and a team got on a plane to visit caregivers and patients and physicians in Brazil with the intent to see if we can identify this data that could be out there. And if the data could be harvested in such a way that it could be utilized in a dossier that could be put in front of regulators, not only in the US, but also around the world to stand up a clinical trial. And lo and behold, after her trip, the data was in a very robust state. And it is the footprint for the data that was utilized as we began to build out the company and build out the clinical trials and launch what we, we have in place right now, which is, as I've stated, a phase one in the United States and a phase one, two in Europe. Those trials are about to be completed and enrolled. We've already re reported early data on those trials and it's positive. And so we anticipate that um, as we complete the trials and continue to get data readout and we'll report data as we see it and we can to the public based upon regulatory restrictions, et cetera, uh, we feel very positive. We've already begun to identify and draft our global pivotal trial and identify global pivotal trial sites. So we're looking forward to moving it to the next level. Along the way, we've, we've clearly had to fund the company. So we made a decision that we would self-fund through ourselves as board members and through friends and family, if you will, uh, which is what we've done. We've raised just under $20 million up until uh, May of this year. Uh, by uh, frankly passing the hat through ourselves and our directors. We built out a board of directors that includes Bill Shanahan, the former president of Colgate, Palm Olive Worldwide, Marcus Seeger, the CEO of Pol Pharma, a multi-billion dollar healthcare company based in Warsaw, Poland, Patrick Estronic, the CFO of US Pharmacia, uh, which is another large billion dollar company based in Eastern Europe. And uh, I'll note that US Pharmacia, through its holding company, they are our largest investor of the 20 million that we've invested. They've invested $5 million. Uh, the board cumulatively have invested just under $10 million. And if you will, friends and family, and it's a sophisticated group of friends and family, by the way, high net worth individuals, frankly, that invested the balance. We also have been working with a firm called Terea Partners. Uh, they've been giving us st strategic advice. Terea is a well-known healthcare investment bank. We seek and, and have sought their, their guidance as we've looked to build out our platform, as we contemplate any partnership possibilities that we may want to entertain as we build out the company to build value for our shareholders. We've built out an Alzheimer's program as we were approached by a large independent family to stand up this program. Um, a, a year's results and post the filing of an annual report with the FDA, this patient and the family and the physician have continued on our drug and we are at the precipice of beginning to stand up a clinical trial and program to launch an Alzheimer's program. 
So we recently completed a $7.4 million financing, which gives us ample runway to complete our phase one, phase one, two trials in MPC, which we're very pleased, and will get us to clinical readout, which we think will be a significant milestone and we hope will be recognized by the marketplace. Thank you.